Hey what's up guys, MGH here and welcome to another FIFA 16 news video and finally I'm able to bring you some career mode updates. I'm really excited, there's some new news that's come out this morning from Gamescom regarding career mode in FIFA 16 and I tell you what, EA have done a very very nice job here. They've certainly listened to our feedback and uh, they've taken a huge step in the right direction so let's get into some of the new features that you can expect to be in FIFA 16. So guys, to start things off, we're going to be reading through this quick paragraph here of information. This is pretty much everything they've released so far in one easy bit of information to digest. And uh, then we're going to have a look at some images and uh, I'll give you my opinions on these changes. So first of all, they've said at the top here that we have many improvements coming to career mode, all based on feedback from our community. These include, you can now sign free agents outside of the transfer window. That will be helpful, especially I think for the lower rated teams. If you get a couple of injuries, you can sign up a nice cheap free agent who will replace that player that's been injured or whatever. Whereas for the big clubs, I'm not sure it's gonna to matter too much. The free agents don't tend to be that quality, right? Either way, nice little addition there. Scout reports. So um, after, after scouting a player, uh, normally the reports would go after three months, I think it is, but now, it's going to be a full calendar year available for you to look at their stats, their value, their wage and all that stuff for a whole season. So you're no longer going to lose that scout report after three months, which is very nice indeed. I like that. Very cool. Next thing is the transfer budget. So if you didn't know at the moment in career mode, if you don't spend all your money that season, well, you've basically wasted it. <laughs> you need to spend your money before the next season because, well, they just get rid of it. They wipe your transfer budget. Well now, that is not going to happen. So here they say, transfer budgets are now more realistically tailored to the club that you're using in career mode. So by that they mean, if you're using PSG, you're gonna have a lot of money. If you're using a League One team, you're not gonna have so much, but it's gonna be more realistic. So for things like um, getting promoted from the championship to the premiership, you're gonna get a much better transfer budget, a much more realistic one. And uh, I have heard that they've actually looked at official figures from clubs around the world that have been promoted after the uh, recently in the last few years and seeing how much they have spent so it is going to be a lot better they also say here that a percentage of the remaining budget from the previous season will carry on over to the next and will vary based on where your club finished and in regards to season goals or basically objectives so there it is guys it's going to be much more realistic and i think that is going to make a massive change now they've changed loaning as well. So short loans, not only have they increased to six months from three months, why was it three months in the first place? I don't know. So you're gonna have half a season with a loan, uh, a short loan option there. Uh, but there is now an option to issue a two year loan. This really is good news. You're gonna be able to loan a player for two years. I mean, that's two whole seasons with a player without paying a transfer fee. That could be a lifesaver for some clubs. Really, really like that. Um, now, they've made a massive change to pre-season friendlies, and one of those things is that you will now be able to issue unlimited number of substitutions during the friendly matches. Now, that's not the only thing they've done with friendlies. We're going to get onto that in a moment, but making unlimited subs in friendly games, fantastic. More realistic transfers. So, <laughs> yeah, we've seen the freaking transfers for the last 12 months always being the same. It's always Aguero to Real Madrid, Jacko to Arsenal, and now it seems that is going to be in the past. It says here, while the transfer window is open, we have tuned the number of high profile moves by big players to better match the number of changes that typically happen in the real world. So you're only going to see a number of big players moving around. It's going to be a rarer occasion, I think, which, well, let's be honest, how often does a big, big player move clubs? It's not very often. There's only maybe a couple every year. So hopefully that will be reflected in game. And uh, the last thing here is improved player transfer value. So they're going to make more expensive players. Um, well, they're going to make players in real life who have really good talent, maybe a high potential, they're quite young, be very expensive in the game. Whereas maybe a 30 year old who's at its peak will be a little bit cheaper. And I think there's an element of that already in FIFA 15. I think actually it's, it's pretty decent, the value of players. I don't think there's too many problems there, but they've improved it nonetheless. And then at the bottom it says, and much more. So those are the, I would say, the small changes they've made. Let's get into the big changes. So I mentioned a moment ago they've really improved friendlies. Well, they've introduced pre-season tournaments. So instead of those boring friendlies that you get every time you start a career mode, those three, sometimes two friendlies that everyone just sims, 
they're absolutely pointless. Well now, you're going to be able to do a pre-season tournament. So apparently there is going to be nine different tournaments and you're going to get a choice of three. You're going to get invited to three tournaments and based off what kind of team you're using. So for example, if you're using Bayern Munich, you're obviously going to be invited to pretty high profile tournaments. Whereas if you're using a French League 2 team, you're probably not going to get invited to massive tournaments. You're going to be playing against lesser known clubs, maybe in a local tournament. So, for example, if you're Bayern Munich, you could be invited to this Asian Elite Cup. You can see on the left side there, um, you'd be playing with the likes of PSG, Juventus, Chelsea, Barcelona, Roma, Dortmund. There's some great teams in there. And also, there's a potential prize money of 11.5 million euros there. So, there really is an incentive to play in the pre-season tournaments. This is a game changer for me, guys. It, it, it literally will change it because if you have a good pre-season in your save... You're going to have more money to spend. You're going to be able to bring in better players. And it's absolutely fantastic. Now, there is the case of, will this get boring? Will it be frustrating in the end and you just want to jump into the season? Well, you can decline it. You do not have to do a pre-season tournament. It's an invitation only. And they will ask you to say yes or no. If you say no, you simply do not play. And you just jump straight into the season. And obviously, if you say yes and you, you accept the invitation, you're off. You go and play and uh, you get to do unlimited substitutions. You can really get a feel for your team before you start the competitive league. So I really like this. But guys, this isn't the only bit of good, good information that I'm really excited about. The next thing I'm going to talk about for me is absolutely massive. Just look at this, guys. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Basically, what you're looking at here, guys, is training mode. You're going to be able to select certain players from your team every single week I think it's a maximum of five he's got some training going on here where he is improving um, her man to beat his man so he's going to improve it dribbling ball control stamina and agility and you can see there he's got previous stats and the next stats and a little bar of progress that is absolutely unbelievable so guys I'm going to use Arsenal as an example because I'm, I'm already thinking about what I'm going to do for my Arsenal career mode I'm thinking of putting Ozil in there Mertesacker and a few other players. For Ozil, I want to improve his stamina, I want to improve his strength, his physicality, his jumping, his heading, because he's already good at other things, right? I'm improving his weaknesses. And with Mertesacker, I want to improve his balance, his agility, his sprint speed. And it's just, it's going to change things, guys. It is, it's going to be absolutely phenomenal. And I have, um, I've actually read into a few articles, especially uh, Foothead, they've released a career mode article. I'd really check it out. They've actually played it and they said that when you do this to already established players, so for example in here, Raphael, Herman, they're already 80 plus. It takes a lot more effort and a lot more time to improve them, um, therefore it's not overpowered. Whereas they were doing it with Chelsea, they used Loftus-Cheek and he improved by three ratings or four ratings or something in 15 weeks. Just by training him, that's not by playing him. So doing it to your young players with good potential is the way to go. So this for me is a great way of having a youth team and effectively you're not going to have to play them very often and you can still grow them into amazing players using this training section. So th this really is exciting. Let's have a look at the next image. Look in the top right corner where it's got the, uh, the value, the approximate value. So Oscar, 84 rated, worth 28 million. When you train your players, you can see he's got the suggested um, well, training, I guess. He's got keep possession, close, con close control, speed dribbling, beat your man. He's going to eventually improve those stats and his value is going to go up. So guys, not only are you going to train your players to improve for your own team, you could do this and sell your players and make a massive amount of profit. So there's, there's actually a tactic behind this. There might be a few players that you're not too sure that fit into your team. You're not sure if you're going to use them too often, but you know they're worth quite a bit of money to another team. Why not train them up and sell them for a big profit? And now the last thing, guys, it's called Story of the Season. Apparently, they're going to be adding a bit more story-driven content to career mode. So, for example, here, loading up a match between Chelsea and Man City. We're looking at players to watch. We've got Eden Hazard and uh, Sergio Aguero stats, which I like. It's pretty cool. I can't see how many goals they've scored this season or how many assists or their average rating. So maybe that will be added. Um, but it, it seems that actually that's a bit basic. Um, but it has reminded me, you can see obviously they've got the Premier League uh, design and graphics there. They have added the Bundesliga 
into FIFA 16. Not all the stadiums, I've already covered the stadiums in a previous video yesterday. Um, unfortunately, they've only got a couple new stadiums in the game, only nine I think it is this year. Um, but a couple of them are from the Bundesliga, including Gladbach's. And uh, the Bundesliga graphics, official templates and things like that will be in career mode this year. So yeah, very exciting stuff. So that, guys, wraps it up. I'm very excited. I mean, when, when, I, when I heard all this information this morning, I was just blown away. I was so excited. But I've calmed down. It's been a couple of hours, and I think this is a really good step in the right direction. There is still room for improvement. I think there's a few features they could have added still. For example, I really wish you could change a player's position in this training mode. I want to be able to convert a centre-back to a CDM, for example. Maybe it, oh, I doubt there's enough time. I really doubt it. But what I'm trying to say is, guys, is they've done a very good job with what they've shown us so far. Hopefully there's more to come. And uh, like I keep saying, this is a step in the right direction. I think maybe in FIFA 17, we could be on the verge of a complete career mode. I really do. The only thing that's left really is online career mode. But I'm really not sure if that will ever come become a reality. But thank you so much for watching, guys. 